in this uh, video we'll discuss about how do we calculate uh, power area and uh, uh, timing analysis how is that done using this open lane so in the previous video i have discussed how do we use this uh, code spaces for uh, ic design Today, a bit, uh, uh, I'll demonstrate about how OpenLint helps us uh, to find the chip area and uh, how do we do the timing analysis and then power consumption. So, just a minute. Here, we'll just take you to the OpenLand directory. Here you can see and this is OpenLand directory. Um, let's go to that OpenLand. This uh, is the designs directory. Let's go to the designs directory. Inside designs, uh, yesterday, I mean, in the last video, uh, I had demonstrated about this FA2. So, in the FA2 few uh, changes I have done and uh, in the configuration file, this configuration file, if I open, You can see this here. The changes are I just added here. If you see this um, FA dot SDC, SDC file, this is synopsis design constraint file. Uh, and here, these two things like virtual clock I have added, and the clock period this virtual clock period is 100, 100 nanoseconds. So one change is this that SDC file is required. The other two is we have to do the clock tree synthesis. Earlier uh, it was set to zero clock tree synthesis, but now we are adding this virtual clock. This virtual clock is required to perform uh, the uh, timing analysis in case if your design is not having clock because it's the combination of circuit, then you have to have this virtual clock. So uh, that is the requirement. And uh, this is DC file I will open. This is the uh, complete uh, script file uh, for carrying out the uh, timing. Uh, like we are, uh, you know, create clock is a is a is a command uh, with a period hundred nanoseconds that we are, uh, and the name of that is a virtual clock. And uh, here some input delay that uh, this signal has got, uh, this uh, port A has got, uh, with respect to this clock. So like that for. Uh, all the all of the ports like we have here b port a b and we have c that is carrying in and we have this sum and we have this carry out here most we carry out as well here carry out so all of this uh you know uh the delays that uh, uh um, supposed to be like uh, expected delays now, what might be like a port A, like how much delay it may uh, take transition uh, time, how much it may have while rise, rising, while falling. So all this uh, we have mentioned in the um, this synopsis design constraint file. So actually this is this, is, uh, this itself will take uh, time to explain. But uh, since uh, the main objective of this video is how we calculate that power area 
and uh, uh, what was there another timing analysis for that reason i'm just rushing through all of this so those two are required all right that is one is dc file is required so now design constraint file and uh, in this configuration file those changes are required that's all rest all same like uh, if you come back here and if you see this one that is your fa this this uh, tickle file script file let's see that Uh, so this one is, you know, we are running the synthesis, floor plan, placement, routing, and magic. All these commands are there. The similar to the same thing yesterday, what I have explained. I mean, in the last video, what I have explained. Okay. So now we just had to run this. To run this, uh, what is that we had to do? Dot slash flow con uh, flow dot tickle, uh, and then hyphen interactive, and then file hyphen file, and then that file name. The file name is your free this underscore synth dot tickle. So if you give this command, press enter. So, uh, mm, the problem here is uh, we're supposed to be inside the Docker. We are not inside the Docker now. So, first we're supposed to be inside the Docker and then we have to run this command. So, I'll copy down this command. And right click, we'll copy. And then here, what I have to do is sudo make mount. So, now I will be inside the Docker. So this is inside the Docker. Uh, last video I said this is uppercase is indication like we are not there inside the Docker. This is the lowercase O before this open lane O is lowercase. We are there inside the Docker. And another thing is here root user will come up, uh, not normal user. Okay. So now paste it here, that entire thing, this entire thing. Press enter. So this entire process is going on now. All of the commands what has shown in that file, uh, this file synth fa underscore synth So the, all those commands will run here. Instead, we tapping manually. So I'm done. Now I will open that uh, folder here. I'll go to this file, open folder. Uh, go to your, uh, your this. Yeah, go to home. Go to code spaces. Here you have this open link. Inside open lane, we have runs. Uh, uh, inside open lane, we're going to the design section. Inside open lane, we're going to the design Designs. Inside designs is FA2. Inside this is, uh, yeah, these two are there inside FA2 runs and SRC. So let's open that. Click OK. So. 
Here this a photo folder. Inside this a photo folder. I have all this. <laughs> Let's go to the um, logs folder. Inside the logs, uh, you get the sign off. Inside this sign off, Okay, inside routing. Mm -hmm. This is global routing STA static timing analysis. So here after routing, these are the timing. Okay, and I'll take it there. Now, here you see the report area. You see your report area. So, the design is consuming like 2542 micrometers square. This is the design area. And then um, This is a, your area report, okay? Mm -hmm. So in this summary report, we will see the timing here. There is no negative snack. Uh, you can see there's no uh, setup. Uh, if you see, if you see the setup, there's no. It's not a negative slack. If it it would have a negative slack, then our design is not met the timing, and this is your hold slack. So then, this is your report power. This is your power report. So since the design is completely combinational, so we don't have any sequential elements consuming the power here. And whereas if you see this, your combinational. So combinational internal power is 3.01 into 10 to the power of minus 6 here. Uh, and then here switching power, this is also a dynamic power. And this is your leakage power, 8.692 into 10 to the power of minus 10. And so that's how uh, you are noting down your report, I mean power report, and uh, your timing report here. This is your timing report, and then your area report. So, um, hope that is going to help uh, how to get these reports uh, from the open lane. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, that, that that was the question asked by one of the viewer. So I hope this helps. If any doubts are there, please post them in comment section. Okay, thank you.